2023 saw the introduction of the new fish inline extra strong pole float range. And after a really successful season and high demand for those products, we listened to our team of anglers, but more importantly, you the fishermen, as to what you're looking for in floats. And I'm more than happy to introduce you to the new second phase of floats, which is the big tops. This new collection of high visibility pole floats are manufactured using the same componentry and assembled to the same exacting standards as our previous inline extra strong range. The high quality durable bodies are constructed from eight different layers of finish. That's two sealers, four paint and two overlackers, giving them durability and long life. With the exception of the clunk, all these models come with a 0.7 fiberglass stem which not only gives stability, but it gives durability and flexibility, making these some of the strongest pole floats on the market. As the name suggests, this collection was all about big tops, and that's all about seeing bites and bite recognition. So whether it's the margin paste, the deep water paste, the collets, the rafts or the clungs. This is a tip that you're going to be able to see. And the most important feature that sets this range of floats apart from the rest is the connection that you've got between the line and your float. And that's where it passes through the stainless eyes and right through the body, through the inline tube that's drilled laterally down along the stem and gives you the durability that you need from a range of floats like this. Developing and producing a range of floats like this can only come from feedback and experience. And it's our team of anglers that led us to bring this range to you. So whether it's Joe Karras, the pace fishing master, Sam Collett, the commercial king, or Phil Cannon, the baggy machine, these floats and information from them have been developed around their fishing styles. Here they are to tell you about their favorite model. So in my hand, we've got the Collett floats. Now these floats have been designed for carp fishing on the long pole, short pole and even deep margins. We've got a two and a half mil tip. Now I think this is really important. A lot of the time in the past I've done a lot of this fishing and I've always used a two mil tip. Now the two mil tip, although it's great, I just think a two and a half mil tip is even better. You can see the float better at longer ranges, it's a bit more positive and you can have a bit more float out, meaning when you're getting lots of liners it's going to go right under the right indications and you can be striking at the right bites. And also going for quite a long bristle. So them days where you're getting a lot of indications, you can have a bit more bristle out the water and be hitting them clean bites. Coming on to the body shape, we've got a sort of a, it's a bodied float, but a bit more sort of slim. Now this is just gonna sort of offer a bit more stability rather than a sort of a canty style body. Now a lot of these carp fishing waters are sort of wild, it's windy, you get tow, you get waves. So sometimes these canty style bodies don't offer enough stability. So just having a bit of a body offers that stability and at the end of the day you're going to catch more fish because of it. And lastly, coming onto the stem, we've got a fiberglass stem. Now this is sort of the next best thing to wire. Obviously if you're going to use a wire stem, the chances are it's probably going to break because we're fishing for big fish. So the good thing with the fiberglass is stable, it sits really well and it's also very strong. That's the great thing about these collet floats and obviously we've got a range to suit every sort of fish, fishing situation all the way from 0.4 up to 0.75. Now your 0.4 is good when you get a deep margin or you sort of stand and fishing when it's not very windy. And obviously got to the biggest size of the range, which is 0.75, great for deep water fishing or when it's very windy and it offers stability. So the size in this range for every situation, go and give them a try. We couldn't do a new range of pole floats without doing a paste float. And we've got the JC paste and the JC margin paste, two different styles of floats for two different purposes. The two I've got in my hand are just a standard JC paste and they're for your standard paste fishing situation. Sort of three to six foot of water, these two floats will cover you lovely. We've done them in 0.3 and 0.5 and as you can see they've got a lovely long hollow high vis bristle, got a nice long glass stem and they've got an inline body. Interestingly we haven't put a side eye on this. 
These floats are actually in line. This is because we wanted them to be super strong. So you can see the body comes off the stem, you pass your line through the body, and then it's secured in position just like that. There's nothing to go wrong on them. Strength is a priority when you're paste fishing. You're using heavy lines, big hooks, and we wanted this float to be practically indestructible, and that's what we've gone with for with the JC paste. The two sizes, like I said, the point 0.3 is probably good for sort of three to five foot, and then the point 0.5 is for sort of four to eight foot. So two sizes to cover all your pace fishing. Simple, strong pace float that covers all your needs for your standard pace fishing. So we brought the raft into the range. This is a three, three mil hollow tip float. This is for all your commercial needs, for like your big carp waters, a, a bagging float, something that's gonna hold up for everything. Where you can use it for out into the lake, down your margins. There's four sizes in the range 0.3, 4, 5, and 6. And this can be used for, like I say, in your margins, out in the lake. But it's all about the visibility of the float, strong, strong reliable float. Or can be used for all types of baits, fishing corn, meat, hard pellets, worms, even fishing double worm. This will be a float that can cover everything, like I say, for either short, out in the lake. It's all about being able to see the float. A bit like today with the conditions, a bit of a ripple, a bit of white water. Struggle to see your float sometimes. This is the float for me. So to complement the JC paste is the JC margin paste. And immediately you'll be thinking that bristle's a bit thin, but it's there for a reason. Now this is a float pattern I designed about six years ago when I was doing a lot of margin paste fishing. In fact, my summer is dominated with margin paste fishing. And I came up with this little pattern and it is absolutely deadly. And this super thin bristle is there for a reason. Basically, it's just the fiberglass stem that goes right through the body. It's that inline body again, the same as a JC paste, but we've painted the bristle. The reason we've gone for this is I wanted to reduce all resistance in the margins. Basically, when you're fishing in the edge, you get a lot of fish in the margins, you get bow waves, you get the fish tailing up and swirling. And when you've got a buoyant tip, every time a fish brushes into your line, the float will sort of stab under like that and it actually knocks your paste off the hook, which is the last thing you want. So I designed this float. So every time it's got so little resistance, every time a fish brushes into your line, it just slides away and then comes back up slowly but your paste will still be on the hook. So it keeps you in the water longer, waiting for those big edge fish to actually take your hook bait rather than get the liners. So it's there for a reason. And you get some amazing bites with this because there's so little resistance, the float just absolutely buries. It looks a little bit different to the norm, but trust me, these are an absolute winner. Super strong, super simple, an absolute must for all you margin paste heads. So fishing to the far bank and down the margins is a popular method all around the country. And here at New Fish, we designed a float just for that, the Diablo. Now, as you can see, it's a nice short dumpy float, which is perfect for fishing in shallow water. And like I say, up to far banks and in the margins. Running through a few features about the float, we've got a two mil tip, nice and visual, but also sensitive for F both a mix of F1s and carp. Coming on to the body shape, we've got a diamond, nice and proportioned with the body, within the length of the float, which makes it perfect for fishing in shallow water. Going on to the stem, fiberglass stem, nice and strong, nice and stable, exactly what you want for fishing in shallow water. So the Diablo comes in three sizes, a 0.3, a 0.4 and a 0.5. Now the 0.3, I'd sort of use it, you know, them venues are a bit harder, you're fishing hard pellets, you want a bit of a lighter rig, I'd use a 0.3. Now coming on to my favourite, which is the 0.4, this is an all round good size, water sort of to two foot, nice and stable, sits really well and takes a nice amount of shot, perfect for them situations. Coming on to the 0.5, I'd use this anything over two foot, takes a bit more shot, a bit more heavier and it's a bit more stable than depth. So. Three floats in the, in the range, going to cover you for everything. Perfect for far bank fishing and margin fishing. Shallow fishing for carp is one of the most exciting things you can do. And the little clunk is the perfect float for shallow fishing, especially for those proper big carp. Now we do the big head, which is a brilliant float. And I was loving using that last summer, but there was so many times when I was using it with all my shot right under the float. So whether it was slapping or mugging for carp, I was using it with a shot round of the float. And that got me thinking, why don't we just do a float we well, don't need any shot at all. So there's less chance of tangling. It just makes the whole setup simpler. That's why we did the clunk. Now the clunk is a self-cocking dibber style float with a really bright five mil hollow tip. So it, you can see it so well, even when you've got an eight mil or a six mil pellet on there, you can see it like an absolute beacon on the surface. It's got a thick stainless steel stem in it, which allows the float to self-cock with no shot at all. And like I say, whether you put a six mil or an eight mil on, the float will sit perfect. They're available in two sizes, 0.3 or 0.5, so whether you want to do slapping or mugging, there's a float here for you. 
perfect little float, one that's been designed for a reason and it does its job perfectly. So that's a full lowdown on the big top range of floats and they'll join the collection of extra strong inline floats to give you everything you need for all your fishing.